hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you Now I'm going to cut it out. Please watch the lines I'm cutting. I'm going to cut the color out. I'm going to draw my grain on this so that when I want to cut, I'll know how to place it on the fabric. I'm going to place it this way, not slanted. I'm going to place it straight. This is my straight grain. And I'm going to cut two pieces of this. You can label there as your neckline. The part that is curved is going to be the outer part of your collar. This is the edge of your collar. While this part is going to be your neckline, it's going to be fixed into your front and back neckline. So you can label it so that it won't be confusing for you. If you're a beginner, please label the paper. I'm going to continue cutting the body of the jacket. I cut through my slanted shoulder, then into my armhole, the new armhole, not the old one, which was small. I'm going to cut my initial sideline. I used the other one as an example for you. If you need the second line, cut through the second line. If you're that would align after sewing it, then cut through the second line that I drew. This is my front piece. This is the collar. This is what I mean by break points, where my lapel is going to stop, where it ends. I'm 
and this is the edge of my color this is how it will look like at the end of the day for the back piece I'm going to draw a line here as my starting point from that line I'm going to get my arm all depth line <coughs> That is 7.5. From the line, again, I'm going to get my bust point length line, which is 11. My waist length is 18.5. And my jacket length. is 27.5 now I'm going to draw my lines This is my shoulder line, my arm depth line, my bust point length line, my waist length line, and my jacket length line. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my neck width. 2.5 my neck depth one inch if you use three inches at the front please use three inches for your neck width at the back but the neck depth is going to be one i'm going to draw my round neckline now i'm going to measure my shoulder I'm going to get the same on my ammo depth line 8.25 I'm going to draw a straight line here I'm going to slant my shoulder by one inch and draw a line there from the slanted shoulder to the ammo depth line line I'm going to get the midpoint which is 3.25 I'm going to measure 0 0.5 at the midpoint inwards then connect it with my French curve remember for my arm over front I adjusted it I brought my arm all down by one inch if I draw it this way it's going to be smaller than what I need so I'm going to bring down the arm hole by one inch and draw my line instead of connecting it into the ammo depth line i came down by one inch because at the front i adjusted it and brought it down by one inch my bust is 10.625 I'll measure that on the bust point length line. Then I'll measure my waist, which is 10.125. My hip is 11. I'm going to go up by 0 0.5 and come down by 0 0.5, then connect it straight up to my bust point length line and into my arm hole now i'm going to confirm my arm hole i need 10 inches for my jacket this is 10 inches 
I'm going to use my French curve to connect my waist to my hip. I'm going to get my dots. I'll be using Buster Parts 3.5. I'll measure it on the bust point length line, the waist length line, and the jacket length line. My dart for my back is going to be one inch above my bust point line. And it's going to stop three inches before my jacket length line. Now I'm going to throw, connect the three dots using a ruler. From one inch above my bust point to three inches above my jacket length line. My waist dart, the size is one inch, so I'm going to put 0 0.5 on this side, 0 0.5 on the other side and draw my darts. For my side that for the front i used 1.5 inches so i'm going to measure 1.5 here by the side i'm going to get the position of my side that i'm going to divide the 1.5 into 2 0 0.5 0 0.75 sorry on the upper part of my bust point length line and the lower part of my bust point length line i'll do the same on the other side the back part then i'm going to use the dotted line to connect them please leave this part out if you are not using side dart for the front just leave it like this only the diamond dart but because i have my side dart in front i'm going to do this i'm going to pick here the lower dotted line and put it on the upper dotted line please if you're not using a side that you can draw a curve at the end of your jacket by the side but because i'm using the side that i don't need a curve by the side if i don't do this my side line when i'm joining my front piece and my back piece they will not be the same the front will be shorter than the back so i need to take out this part so that when i sew when i join the side they are going to be the same please only do this if you are using a side dart for the front then i'll use a ruler to connect here well to make sure the side line is still okay Now I'm going to cut it out. Please remember down there you can put a curve if you're not going to use the side that. This is my center back and it's going to be unfold. I 
I'll adjust my dart. I'll blend it well. This is my straight grain. I'm going to cut one piece of this because it's unfold. On my shoulder line here, I'm going to measure one inch because for my front, I measured one inch. So I'm going to measure one inch here also and draw a new neckline. I'll connect the one inch back into my normal neckline. So I'm only taking out one inch on the shoulder line, not at the center back of my neckline, if you understand. Then I'll cut it out. I have a new neckline for my back now. I'm going to measure it. I have four inches. After cutting this out, you're going to take this color that you cut out, you're going to place it on this paper or if you're cutting free and and you're cutting this direct on your fabric after cutting this color out you're going to cut it again on a new fabric and make sure you add 0 0.5 here this part that is labeled neckline you make sure you add 0 0.5 when you're cutting a new one in case you're cutting direct on your fabric but if you're using a paper like i'm doing then place it on a paper and Add the 0 0.5 where I labeled neckline and connect it back into this line. So I'm going to cut it out. Let me come again. After separating the collar from the body of the jacket, You take this and cut a fresh one. When you want to cut a fresh one, you had the 0 0.5 on this part I labeled neckline. You had the 0 0.5 here, just here. Then balance it back into the other line. You are going to cut two pieces of this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly like share comment subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell thank you